Um, anyway, when I was in the market for this, I was really desperate for a, a, a good pump because I, if you read any, or if you've watched any of my other videos, I have a breastfeeding video and I've had a lot of challenges and um, I've had a damaged breast, well nipple, since my daughter was um, pretty much a few days old and um, she's now seven months old and I'm still struggling with it. It is now finally healing um, in part thanks to this pump. So um, it's been a real lifesaver. I can't say enough about it. I highly recommend it. So if you're only going this far with the video, you will not be making a bad choice if you buy this pump. Um, but if you want some information on the pump and its features and um, where you can get the best price and some advice about that, then keep watching. Um, anyway, I bought the pump on eBay. Um, the pump was $260 US, but I didn't just get the pump. Um, now I'm just going to give you my little bit of advice about the pump and um, buying stuff on eBay. You have to be very careful. Um, I bought this from a lady who had her own pump already and then um, she got another one. Well, she basically got two as a gift at her baby shower and she didn't need the two. So she was selling one of them because um, they were both identical. It Everything was sealed in the package. Um, so I knew everything was sanitary and, and there was no worries about that. And plus she had amazing ratings and our communication was uh, really good. So I felt very comfortable. Um, but you have to be careful, especially if you're going to buy a used pump. If you are going to buy a used pump, I don't recommend it, but if you are going to, like if you absolutely have to because you don't have the money, make sure that the only thing that you, um, the only used part you use is the pump itself. The tubing, you need to, well, the tubing you don't necessarily have to get brand new, but I would highly recommend you do because milk could get in there. I haven't had that happen yet, but as far as I understand, it's possible. And, um, and anyway, I just think anything that could potentially come into contact with milk, you should be buying new sealed items. So you want to make sure that you're getting brand new bottles um, and all, any of these plastic parts that come into contact with the milk. And you can get those things on eBay or um, I'm not sure where else for that price, but I bought replacement um, not replacement ones, but a different size of these. It comes in a pack of two, just this coney part. I forget what they're called. Breast shields, whatever. And they were $10 on eBay, brand new sealed. And then this part, I bought extras because I heard that these can sometimes break. Haven't had that happen. Um, but they were, it was under $15 for this part. So... And then the bottles, I believe you can get those pretty inexpensively as well. I think the tubing is probably the most expensive part, um, but I have seen it for maybe $20 or $30. So if you are going to do a used one, I would highly recommend all those parts are new. But you can get a brand new one, um, like I'll explain. I paid $260 US. The pump is normally um, retail in Canada at least, over $500 with the taxes. I got this for $260 US. I didn't pay any tax, but I didn't just get the pump, like I'll explain. I got all the parts that you're seeing here, plus I think it came with four bottles. I haven't even used all the bottles, but anyway, it came with four bottles in their own little lids. It also came with a um, bottle and storage system, which has these, so I think I have another additional four or more bottles. Actually, I think this storage system came with four bottles and four lids like this, which you can dial the different days of the week and then indicate when you pump the milk. And um, so that's awesome in a little storage container. All of this stuff was brand new sealed in the package. It came with these wipes, which are great when you're on the road and you just need to wipe down your stuff. Um, it came with, um, these are things outside of the regular um, pumping package. These are separate items. It came with Medela um, breast pads, a package of 30, and it came with a package of brand new bottles, an additional package of three bottles, and um, it came with a tube of um, breast cream that was brand new and sealed, and um, 
clasp came with the hands-free bustier, which was brand new and sealed. That wasn't the right size. I'm reselling it back, so I'm not losing. So if you just count the price of how much the accessories would have costed, um, even at a good price on eBay, I probably only paid about $200 for the pump itself. So the pump itself came with, I believe, four bottles, two of these parts, four of the breast shields, two in a medium size, and then two in a larger size, and um, one tubing, and of course the pump, and it came with these hands-free things you can attach to your bra. Um, I don't use them. It came with the bag, which is a pretty nice bag. I'll show it to you quick. It has a front pocket here. Um, it's not zippered or anything, but you can shove you know, a little, um, I usually put a cloth diaper in here that I can use for dripping or whatever. And then it has a pretty large size bag. So the pump actually doesn't take up much room. You could use this as a diaper bag if you wanted to. It has nice pockets on the side with a Velcro snap. And then it has a zipper pocket here. And then it has a little um, pocket on the end here that I put the pump in. And uh, a huge you know, main compartment area. So that's the bag. And uh, yeah, so it came with all of, oh, and it came with a cooler bag. Sorry, I don't have that out. It came with a cooler bag and ice packs. And of course the um, cord to charge the, the pump. I just wanted to say, like I, I said already, I am very happy with the pump. Um, it has, I picked this pump because the other pumps have to actually be attached to the bag. As far as I understood, um, and then they weren't rechargeable, like that you could put in batteries, um, but they weren't like rechargeable like this, where you just plug this in and then you use this and, th and the battery on this lasts three and a half hours, which is what the manual says it's supposed to do. So it's lived up to that promise. Um, I love the LCD screen. It lights up. It tells you how much suction you have. You can increase or decrease it. Um, it tells you your battery power, how long you've been pumping. It has a memory function. I've never used it, but I'm sure it's great. And then once your milk starts letting down, you push this. If you hear right now, it's fast pumping. When you press let down, it's the longer sucky type pumping. So um, it works amazing. Um, I don't typically use it in doubles mode. I use it like this. I loop the one end into here and then I just use one. Um, the reason for that is that because I have the one damaged nipple I can't use the same amount of suction on both sides and to be effective you want to use the most amount of suction that you can without causing pain to get the best um, the best milk pumping that you can. So I use different suctions on each breast and uh, you can't do that in doubles mode. So. That would be a nice feature, if Medela, if you're listening, if you could have a double electric pump where you could indicate different suctions for different breasts, that would be an amazing feature. But I don't think there's a pump out there that does that. Anyway, um, like I said, amazing. Um, one bit of advice that I have as well about the cones, which I know they're called brush shields, I just call them cones, is that... Um, don't assume if you're a large breast or a small breast size woman that your um, breast shield will kind of correspond with that because I'm a very large breasted woman. Um, I'm a triple D, but I have very small nipples. So this is actually a small breast shell, um, breast shield, sorry. And um, I don't even know if it's a breast shield or a breast shell. Anyway, whatever it is, this coney part, you want to make sure that your when your nipple is sucked into here that there's no space on the outsides except for like a little teeny weeny. You don't want it being sucked in and being um, compressed because that means it's too small. But you don't want it being sucked in and there being space because either way you're going to have pain. So you want to make sure you have a pretty customized fit in this part when your nipple gets sucked in. Um, so I use a small, but like I said, my breasts are very large. So, and again, you could have small breasts and very large nipples and need a larger size. So don't necessarily assume, um, like for me, I'm a plus size woman. I thought, oh, I'm going to need the extra large. Nope. I just tried out the ones that it came with. The mediums were okay, but I knew they were too big. So I ordered 
um, small and I could actually probably go down to the extra small. The only thing that I find um, would be a problem is that they actually make this cone part um, smaller. So it works fine, but it, you know, it's more comfortable when the cone is bigger for me because I have large breasts, but it, because the hole you need, the, you know, the, this hole in here needs to be smaller, they make the cone smaller. So, which, anyway, I guess they, in general, probably people with smaller breasts have smaller nipples, but that's not the case for me. Um, and don't assume that's the case for you. Anyway, so that's, um, that's my uh, review. Um, I guess just as accessories for this, I was going to tell you, it did come with the Medela um, the lanolin for the Medela. I prefer the Lansino. Also, as I said, I got, um, Medela breast pads. I prefer the Lansino. So, um, yeah, that's the only other advice I would give you. And again, if you're on a budget, you know, just don't be, um, don't be too hasty in, in buying it without doing some research. I, um, you know, I ended up getting a really good price and it was on eBay. But again, if you're going to do that, be cautious, um, know who you're buying from and make sure that it is sealed and hygienic. Um, a lot of things can be passed along in breast milk. So even if people say, oh, we've sterilized it, it's not necessarily sterile and, um, you don't want to risk anything. It's your baby, right? So yeah, that's, uh, that's the only uh, thing I wanted to add. So that's it. If you have any questions or if you wanted me to show you something else specific, um, I can try and do that. Um, but I think, yeah, I think that's all you needed to know. Oh, and, and just if you had some questions about how much you pump at, in one pumping, for me, for one breast, I get anywhere from one ounce all the way up to, say, four and a half ounces. I don't think I've gone up as far as five ounces in, for one breast. Um, basically, on my sore side now, I only get like one to two ounces on a pumping session. But then on my other side, I'll get up to four and a half Um and, it, and, and that varies. It just depends on what time of day it is and all those other things. And don't expect that you're going to pump four and a half or anything right, at, right away, even if you feel full. Um, even your breast can be full and you're not going to pump a lot. You really have to be in a zone of relaxation. Um, make sure you put yourself somewhere where you're either watching TV or I know it says hands-free, you can continue doing what you want to do, but I don't think that works until you're used to pumping. So when you're first doing it, don't be discouraged. You're not going to get a lot at once. Um, you really need to be in a zone of relaxation. It helps if you've got your baby nearby and you're thinking about feeding your baby. And um, yeah, so if you have any questions or... Anyway, I'll, I'll try and help you if you have questions. You can even personal message me. I'll do what I can because I know this is a big purchase and um, yeah, and you want to make sure you're, you're making the right one. So that's all. Thanks. Bye.